Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to exclude an application from the exploit protection functionality in Windows Defender on Windows 10. So, in order to exclude it, it's going to be very simple. What I've noticed with the exploit protection is that it can be very sensitive with certain applications, so even very legitimate ones, it could be over sensitive and there could be a lot of false positives. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to exclude apps that you maybe are experiencing a lot of issues with in terms of compatibility with the Windows Defender exploit protection. And we're going to jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the Start menu. Type in Windows Security. The name changes so often that it could be Windows Defender again one day, but in our case it's Windows Security, so we're going to go ahead and open that up. You can alternatively try searching Defender in there, and you should find something that eventually will resemble this page. And you want to select the Apps and Browser Control on the left side, so go ahead and left click on that. And now on the right you want to scroll down underneath Exploit Protection. It's built into Windows 10 to help protect your device against attacks. Out of the box, your device is already set up with the protection settings that work best for most people. Select Exploit Protection Settings. And now you want to select the Program Settings option up here. You can see it's a little tight of an area. It's not probably the best layout, to be honest, but you want to select Program Settings and then select this Add Programs to Customize. And now you can select the specific file path or by program names. So you could do either one. I'm going to choose exact file path, but you can choose a specific folder as well or program. So let's just go underneath, let's just say Windows. I mean, it can be whatever you want here. I'm just going to pick a random folder. Doesn't have to be too specific here. So obviously this works a little bit better if you've already uh, have something in mind when you're doing this. So let me just go underneath a program here. So let me just exclude that just as an example. And then you want to go, if there's a particular setting you want to disable, you can keep it unchecked. And then you just want to go select apply and then select yes for a user account control prompt. Again, it's going to be more customized. I'd recommend reading through them all. It's a little bit in depth depending on how far you want to read into it but generally speaking I mean this is the gist of what we're trying to do here so pretty straightforward process here guys I do hope that I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial goodbye